me versus the writer. <laughs> it was, of course, a mistake to date another writer. We differed and disagreed stylistically and very, very often. He felt like I was too often sincere and forthcoming. This actually really isn't about Tommy. <laughs> I forgot how much I go in on this person. Um, he felt like I was too often sincere and forthcoming in my writing, and I thought he was too often full of shit. I took writing night classes and he went to proper school for it so I tended to take his criticism to heart. He was often published in that new best gay erotica fiction volume what the fuck ever those books that I tended to avoid. All of his stories were about the incredible adventures of two boring ass white dudes in love and people actually bought that shit with money, belief, <laughs> hook, line, sinker. Not surprising though most people eat at McDonald's. I just hated <laughs> I just hated the plucky, wide-eyedness of it all. Like, why couldn't one of the precious white boys be a murderer or a junkie or have an eating disorder? Anything to sex up and jazz up those boring-ass stories. I patted myself on the back for writing about real shit like gun violence and semen addiction. Shit hit the fan. <laughs> shit hit the fan the day I broke into his computer and was reading his journal emails and first drafts. Right there in the middle of the screen, plain as a 10-inch boner, was something too familiar to me. He had stolen one of my ideas and put it in his own story. I knew that he would get paid for this story. The emasculation of it ripped through me. War, war, war. Now, looking back, I think that we were both jealous of each other. I remember sometimes sort of envying his success, or rather, wishing I was him. Maybe my idea of popping up in his story was him wishing that he was me. Either way, I was enraged, and I took his laptop out to the garden and poured lighter fluid all over it, holy water, and then I set that silver bullshit on fire. He never talked to me again, and he could never really return the favor. My stories were already on fire. <laughs>